what you were weighing in high school is, is probably what you want to weigh now. Unless you were somebody that was super skinny, maybe somebody that uh, was, maybe, maybe you was like a skater or emo guy or you just didn't eat a lot in high school and you were just a skinny guy. But if you were like average weight, you get what I'm saying? Or if you were a little bit on the heavier side, then the weight you weigh in high school is the weight you should probably remain the same or even less as an adult. Look, I don't know what it is about the world today and the whole obesity or just people being big in general. Like, why when I look around and I go to the grocery store, there's nobody in shape. Like, it's, it's maybe one or two people, but there's nobody that's just standing out and there's nobody that's just that's walking around just looking good. And why is it not normal? Because I remember when I watched the movies from the 90s and I watched some of these old school movies, a lot of the people, a lot of the actors and actresses, they look phenomenal. And when I go back and look at their age, even though they played characters that were in high school, they were in their 30s. And that says a lot about you, right? Because when, you, when, you're, when you're in shape when you're older, it says a lot about how you maintain your body compared to when you were in high school. <laughs> so I'm saying all that to say, for an example, right now, myself, I weigh about 198. I remember by the time I graduated high school, I was weighing 197 because I played football and I did track and I had to, you know, do a lot of physicals and just to prepare for the seasons. So I had to keep up with my weight and I knew all my statistics, probably more than the, the normal individual. And I just remember graduating high school being 197 and I used to pump the weights hard, man. I used to be in the gym heavy, trying to get super big and super swole and I would balloon up to about 210, 210 pounds and then I would cut back down, right? And sometimes I would cut down. The lowest I had gotten to was 187 at a time. This was maybe 10 years ago. And that's when I was super light. I really liked the way I looked at the time. Even though it wasn't that grown man muscle, it was like that that young kiddish, oh, he got muscles, but he ain't got the he ain't got the cuts. He ain't got that hard, dense rock muscle. But I had I had the the, the you know, I had a nice body, I had a nice six pack. And I had nice shoulders all the time. And I was, you know, looking fine. But it's a difference, man. It's a difference when, in, you know, when you're in high school or when you have, like, when you're in high school and you have that weight on you compared to when you're older and you're, you weigh the same, but you still, you, all right, so for an example, before I keep tripping up over my words, right? <laughs> So, all right, so if you weigh 190, when I was weighing 197 in high school and now I weigh 198, it's a totally different 198 now than what I was weighing back in high school. Like, my body looks completely different, even though I weigh the same. My 198 now, I have bigger arms, I have bigger shoulders, uh, my face looks totally different. Um, back then, uh, my arms were super skinny and that's, that's what opened up my mind to where I started to think that we should weigh the same or less than what we were in high school. Like I said, you know, if you're the anomaly, if you're super skinny, then, you know, it's, it's a little different for you. You need to put on weight. Well, you should put on weight. It's recommended that you put on weight. Because why would you want to just be a, a, a skinny guy for the rest of your life for like just super skinny and bones? You should try to put on some muscle and, and be jacked or at least try to just have some type of stature to yourself. You know, it's called building yourself up, self-development, you know, over time. When, when, you, when, you just, when you just start to lift weights over time, you just start to get you just start to get bigger. And even if you're not intentionally trying to become the biggest guy in the world. As you get older, you start to naturally gain weight, so your muscles start to harden, and you start to get that dense, grown man muscle. Do your research, man. So this is this is what I did when I was when I was getting older. When I graduated high school, I used to look at people's YouTube. Right, I used to look at this guy named Mike Rashid, and he was this guy is like a superhuman. 
if if it if, if it's anything close to the Hulk, close to a black Hulk, this is this is the guy, bro. And this guy is benching five hundred pounds. He's squatting six hundred. He's deadlifting seven hundred. He's just a strong, jack, physical specimen, right? And <laughs> it's almost like I had to go back and look at his age. And the man is in his forties. He and I'm sure I'm I'm sure he wasn't doing all of this stuff when he was 29, but over time when you keep lifting weights year after year after year after year after year, when you get to those older ages, all that stuff just adds up. So, I mean, he's a little different. You know, he's probably on some roids, so his weight ballooned up. But if you stay natural and you just keep staying the course. Year after year after year after year after year after year after year. Imagine what you're going to look like in your 40s if you stick with it. And if you've really been consistent the whole time. I'll just keep it there. Or you can be one of those people that peaked in high school, right? You're, and your best years was in high school. You looked your best. You was in your best shape in high school. And then the rest of your life, you don't have anything to look forward to when you look in the mirror. Why would you want to live that way? Because I don't know about y'all. I want to make sure that I remain, remain the best I, that I can be as I get older. Because if it's one thing about life, life is going to be life in. And this shit is going, it's, it's getting harder every year. So if it's going, if, if I know life is going to get harder every year, then let me at least look my best. So when I wake up in the, when I wake up in the morning and I look myself in the mirror, I know what I'm seeing and I'm proud of what I'm seeing. And then I can continue on with this hard life and do what I got to do, you know? So just something to think about. Anyways, man, besides all of that, besides all of that peaking in high school and you should be remaining the same weight, man, look, it's day six right now. I've been very consistent and the weight is coming down, man. You guys are going to see. And I need y'all to hold me accountable. Actually, to everybody who's watching, you know, I'm excited. This is a whole new a whole new journey for me putting myself on camera. So if you rock with me, I appreciate you. And we're going to keep it going. Let's get it.